Welcome to this reading. In this reading, we're going to be talking about how to teach problem-solving skills to kids. Maybe you feel tired. Maybe you feel sad, anxious, or stressed. Maybe you've had a long day. But don't worry. In this reading, we will learn the right ways to teach kids how to problem-solve. Whether you're a teacher, a parent, or some other adult figure in a kid's life, it's important to know how to teach kids life skills the proper way. Different kids, of course, need different approaches. For this reading, we will divide kids into five age groups. Kids aged 3 to 5, 5 to 7, 7 to 9, 9 to 11, and finally, kids 12 and up. For three to five-year-olds, we use emotion coaching, where we name and validate emotions. Let them process emotions. Ask them, show me the hard part, and problem solve with creative play. You're doing great. For five to seven-year-olds, we teach these five steps to help them. Step one, what am I feeling? Step two, what's the problem? Step three, what are solutions? Step four, what would happen if? Step five, which one will I try? Ask them open-ended questions and work through problems as a team. For seven to nine-year-olds, we break down problems into chunks. You can brainstorm together, ask lots of open-ended questions, but most importantly, listen to them. Next, we have nine to 11-year-olds. For these kids, we have to step it up a notch. We want to use creative problem-solving solution prompts this may include doing arts and crafts together, for example. We can also encourage them to put their problems on paper or have them keep a journal. Finally, for 12 and up kids, encourage them to take up hobbies that have them use their creativity and also broaden their critical thinking. They could take up chess or learn to code or even join the debate team at school. This is the end of the reading. Thank you for listening. Remember that you are caring. Until next time.